In this video, you will learn how to add error bar in Microsoft Excel chart. Currently, you can see here I have inserted error bar of standard deviation in Microsoft Excel scatter plot. I have generated this scatter plot using this set of data. It is the data about an experiment which investigates the effect of storage days on the vitamin D retention. I have repeated this experiment three times and the values are given in the form of trial 1, trial 2 and trial 3. Additionally, if you are interested to add error bar in Microsoft Excel bar graph or multiple bar graph or line graph, then separate video tutorials are available on our channel. So in this tutorial, you will learn how to add error bar of standard deviation in Microsoft Excel scatter plot. So let's start this tutorial without any further delay. If this video is helpful for you, then please like this video and subscribe our channel for more informative videos. In a separate sheet, I have already entered the data to save time. Firstly, if you are interested to add error bar of standard deviation in Microsoft Excel scatter plot, then you have to calculate the average values as well as standard deviation. Firstly, I will calculate the average values. I will calculate the average of these three values, which are the trial 1, trial 2 and trial 3 values. Firstly, select the cell where you want to display the result. I want to display the result in this cell. I have selected this one. Then put equal sign, right average. Now you can see here average options appeared here. Double click on it and select these values. Now you can see here I have selected all these three values. Now I will close the bracket. After closing the bracket, simply press enter and Microsoft Excel has calculated the average of these three values. Now select this one and place your cursor at the corner. When plus sign appears, drag it down to calculate the average of remaining rows. You don't need to apply the formula on individual rows. Now you can see here we have successfully calculated the average. Now our task is to calculate the standard deviation. Select the cell where you want to display the result. Put equal sign. Write standard deviation STDEV. Here you can see here the option of standard deviation. Double click on it. And again select these three values because we are interested to calculate the standard deviation of these three values which are the value of trial 1, trial 2 and trial 3. I will select all these three values. Now you can see here the cell B3 to D3 are selected. After that close the bracket. Press enter. Now you can see here Microsoft Excel has successfully calculated the standard deviation of these three values. Select the cell. Place your cursor at the corner when plus sign appear, drag it down to calculate the standard deviation for remaining rows. Now you can see here we have successfully calculated the average as well as standard deviation. Now we are able to insert error bar of standard deviation in Microsoft Excel scatter plot. Firstly, we will generate a scatter plot. To generate a scatter plot, select this one. Hold control key and select average values. Some students are facing difficulties while selecting these two columns. So you have another option. You can simply copy these two columns and paste it here and you can select both of these. Additionally, I will explain another easy method in later part of the video. Firstly, go to insert and from chart option, you will find the option of scatter plot. Select this one. You can select any scatter plot either with marker or without marker or only lines. I will select this one. Now you will learn second method to generate scatter plot. I will delete this one. Simply select black cell. Go to chart option and from here I will select scatter plot only with marker. Now you can see here Microsoft Excel has inserted a blank graph. I will place it here so that standard deviation values are visible to us. Right click and here you will find the option of select data. Click on it. Now in legend entries, click on add option. 
and you can give series name i will left it blank and here is the option of series x value click here and from here i will select storage days now click on series y values remove existing entries and select average values click on ok again on ok now you can see here we have successfully generated a, a scatter plot i will resize it if you are interested to conditionally format this scatter plot then separate video tutorials are available on our channel you can watch that videos in this video we will only focus on how to insert error bar of standard deviation in microsoft excel scatter plot firstly i will change the minimum value so it become more clear to you select this one right click go to format axis option and from here i will select 30 instead of 0 click here and i will remove these grid lines select this one press backscape select horizontal press backscape now you will learn how to insert error bars firstly click on markers now you can see here the all markers are selected here go to chart design option and in chart design option you will find the option of add chart element click here here you will find the option of error bars and in error bar you will find the option of more error bar option select this one a window will be appeared now you can see here different option first one is the direction either you want to insert error bars on both sides or are you interested to insert error bar on minus or plus sign i am interested to insert error bar on both sides so i will select this one second option is the end style either you want to insert error bar with cap or without cap i have selected cap so i will scroll down and here you will find the option of error amount either you want to insert error bar on the base of fixed value percentage standard deviation or standard error i will select custom and in custom you will find the option of specify value select this one a window will be appeared from here firstly you will find the option of positive error value delete the existing entries and select standard deviation values now you will find the option of negative error values click here remove existing entries and again select standard deviation values after that click on ok now you can see here microsoft excel has inserted error bar on the basis of this standard deviation but you can observe that there are horizontal as well as vertical error bars i will click on this horizontal error bars now you can see here all horizontal bars are selected press backscape to remove these error bars now you can see here only horizontal error bars are selected which is our desire now you can see here the error bar value for 25 day of storage is 12 and at 20 it value is 9.85 now here you can observe that this value is more as compared to this one additionally if you want to format these error bars simply click on it now you can see here all error bars are selected right click here you will find the option of format error bars go to fill a line option and from here you can select solid line you can change the color of line using this option additionally you can adjust the width of this line using this option and here there are useful options for example the line compound type you can select anyone dash type cap type joint joint type similarly more options are available you can exploit these options so by doing so you can easily insert custom error bar of standard deviation in microsoft excel scatter plot 
that's the end of this video thanks for watching this video goodbye